Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's episode, I'm going to be extending this power socket all the way up there because I want to put a light up there with a switch to control it. And the guys will be coming soon to install the zip track blinds. So I'm going to show you how to extend this socket. Before I get into it, like, share, subscribe. Let's get into the video. So very important before you begin anything, always cut the power to your circuit. That way, you know, everything is safe. Because it's going to be in the balcony, I'm going to be using these IP66 waterproof switch outlets. So at the back, you can clearly see these are where the screws go to go to the wall. There's a ground point. And then this is the rubber seal, which keeps the water out. So before you go up there, you want to prep the back plates. Don't just fasten them up. There's a bit of prep work that goes around. These here are knockouts. Let's press the back and they will pop out. And then I think my left one is going to be where the uh, wires go up from the bottom. So I'm going to po poke that out as well. You're not supposed to be putting the conduit, you know, like that. You have to follow up with these adapters. They're really easy to install. Poke the screw thread out of there. Twist them on. There are a few holes that you want to open up. There's a drain hole and at least two screw holes diagonally across each other. So I'm going to open the drain hole first, which is over here. There's the drain hole on both. Okay, there's the drainage hole. Make sure this groove is not blocked. And then, these are going up onto the wall. My wires are coming up from below. I want to do the outside and inside one. That's just my personal preference. You can do whichever way you want. So, I'm going to do this one. This one. This one. This one. I'm going to be marking out all the way up there. Okay, firstly, I'm going to put in all the, uh, the stuff, loose fit everything, and start drilling up the wall. So when you are thinking of drilling into concrete wall, a few things you want to take note of is drill bits and drills. So a drill bit that you're used to seeing is something like that. This is for metal and this is for plastic and wood. This is not what you want. You want something like this. This is a masonry drill bit. You know, have a look at the, uh, the little arrowhead that's up there. Yeah, that's a masonry drill bit. You want something like that and a drill like this. This is a rotary hammer drill. If you're going to go with something like this, this is just a, a drill. There's no impact. You can do, you can go with a, you know, a hammer drill, but it's reinforced concrete. You're going to have a hard time. So once you have your holes marked out, you want to go through with a detector to make sure there are no wires that are hidden or piping that's hidden behind here. Because if you puncture a pipe, you know, it's not a good thing. I want this to be set to hammer and drill. Here I'm using a 6mm drill because everything I'm using is 6mm. Uh, 6mm wall plugs, 6mm holes, keeping everything simple. Up. And over here, this cool thing, this is a dust collector. It sits, you know, on top of your drill like that and it just collects all the dust so you don't make a big mess. Put that in, set your depth stop. You want it to be slightly longer than the screw you want to use and then just go in it. There you go, easy peasy. Before you put in your wall plug, always test with your screw to make sure that you can go in all the way. You don't want a hole that's not deep enough. You need to put in a bit of silicone in all holes, you know? So everywhere 
that there's gonna be a connection like around here behind the screw joints except for the drain hole you need to put a bit of sealant and that's to make sure that everything is waterproof So when I'm pulling wires, uh, what I like to do is to have a bit of stripped end. This way, it could hook into that little eyelet that you see there. Right? You fold it up upon itself. And when you tape it up, it should create a really, really strong joint. Should not come off when you're trying to pull the wire through your trunking. And of course, always test to make sure that there's no power in the lines before you do any work. There you go, that's my test light up there and got a switch extending from a power socket. I've got another one up there for my zip track. If you like that, like, share and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.